Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Arisin and this is Teach Clockwise TV. Please do well to subscribe. It is absolutely free. In today's video, we are going to explore the Portugal Job Seekers Visa. Portugal is a country rich in history, culture and natural beauty from its ancient past to its modern day alloy. Portugal is located in southwestern Europe with a population of 10.3 million people. 85% of the Portuguese population identify as Catholic. Portugal shares its boundary with only Spain, bordered by the Atlantic Ocean to the west and south. Portugal boasts of stony coastlines, including the famous Agave region. The diverse landscape features rolling hills, fighter planes, and dramatic cliffs. Lovely beaches makes it a perfect place for tourist attraction. Its capital is Lisbon and its official language is Portuguese. English is widely spoken in Portugal, but a good understanding of the Portuguese language will give you an edge. Portugal is a home for most of the world's charming cities like Lisbon and Porto. She is part of Europe and also part of the Schengen zone. This means that with just your passport, you can travel around the Schengen region for free without a visa for up to 90 days within 180 days period. This country that captivates the imagination with rich history, vibrant culture and stunning natural beauty is currently faced with massive shortage of skilled and unskilled workers. Guys, I have good news for you. The government of Portugal has joined countries like Austria, Sweden and Germany to launch a new type of visa known as the Job Seeker Visa. This is a direct invitation to foreigners to come find a job in Portugal through Job Seeker Visa. This visa allows you to stay in Portugal for four months in search for a job. Once you are able to secure a job, you will then obtain resident permit, after which your family can reunite with you through the family reunion visa. Guys, thanks for joining us today. Please give this video a like and if you have not subscribed, kindly do so and turn on the notification bell. So you'll be notified whenever we upload a content as this. If you have done that, thanks. Requirement. Guys, you will need a proof of funds. You must show you have at least 2,280 euro in savings before your visa is approved. Police clearance certificate, health insurance, flight ticket itinerary, and lastly, proof of accommodation. The good part is that you do not need a job offer to apply for this visa. Now let's look at the in-demand jobs. The in-demand jobs in Portugal include healthcare industry, finance, accounting, tourism, hotels and restaurants, delivery, cleaners, construction, IT, doctors, nurses, teachers, trades such as plumbers, electricians, bricklayers, forklift operators, technicians, IVAC, welders, the list is endless. How to apply for job seeker visa? We need to go to the official Portuguese government website to express your interest on the portal. Bear in mind once again that a Portugal job visa is valid for four months or 120 days. With the Portugal job seeker visas, you can remain in Portugal once you get a job. So guys, come with me. Let me show you how to apply for Portugal job visa. Hello friends, wait a minute. I just want to let you know that the countdown begins today. The registration for the Sponsorship Job Masterclass with my humble self, which is taking place 1st of April 2024, is going to be an eye-opener. And the deadline to register is the 30th of March 2024. If you are tired of searching for jobs with no positive feedback, or looking for visa sponsorship jobs, or want to switch your visa or COS, if the answer is yes, then what are you waiting for? Register now and we will guide you all the way even after the one day program is over. We will hold your hand till you succeed. Use the information on this flyer to register now. Chat us up on WhatsApp for easy ways to register on plus four four seven four eight two zero six five eight seven nine. And remember your humble friend Harrison. This is the official website for the Portuguese uh, government. So you by the right hand side, you see where we have to change the language to English. So after doing this, you will come to the landing page proper. This is the job seeker visa. Everything you need to know about it, you read it is here. So these are the general documentation. And I will advise you, you assess it via laptop. Because that's the best way you will be able to enjoy this. All right, so you have to go through the whole 
general documentation process. One, we have the passport or other travel document, the national visa application feed and duly signed by applicants. So you must fill this and sign it. So you have to download this form and fill it. All right, so passport or other travel document valid for three months, two photos, even passport type recent in good condition to identify the applicant, proof of regular status, criminal record certificate, valid travel insurance, copy of return transport flight to that means your flight itinerary, proof of financial resources. That means you need to have money that will uh, enable you to survive within the space of three months. So after you've read all this, the first thing you need to do, this is the most important part, this is the part, you have to click this link, declaring there as number two, which is proof of presentation of declaration of express of interest. So you have to express your interest with the IEFP. This is like the job governing body. So when you click this link, you click it now. Once you click it, Let's click it. So it will take you to this page. So in this page, you have English version, Portuguese, French, anyone you want. So you click on the English. Now you see this part where you have formularios.ifp. This is where you will click. So after you've um, gotten a confirmation from this link you are going to click, you now come and you know apply for your visa on this line online. So let's go to the uh, this site. Let's click it. I'll click it now. So this is the place where to take you to. This is job search visa application. The question of expression expression of interest for IFP registration. So I identify below, declare that after entry Portuguese territory, I intend to register with the Institute of Employment and Vocational Training to look for a work. So for those of you who have other plans, they are trying to let you know that it will not work. It's only job, all right? So the first thing you feel the first name, like first name, teach lock wise, son name wise, um, date of birth, I'm just putting this, passport number, date the um, passport was given to you that's the admission date so you can put um, let me put 2022 for instance all right validity date that means the expiration date when is it going to expire you put it there nationality which country are you from country of resident where do you live email address coolly you feel you take five you choose five jobs that you can do here that you have experience you worked in those areas before then after that you, the next section you take three three jobs that you know you can handle you can do don't take jobs that you cannot do this is how you take it take three if it is three you take for the other one if it's five you take five of them that you know you know how to do not more than five no more than three okay then after that you go down you click the languages you can speak i can speak english and portuguese if you cannot speak if it's only english click it all right then you submit your expression of interest so once you submit it you get a feedback from your email let you know that it was successful then you come back here uh, this online that's where you now you can apply for the job search visa online and or from the nearest portuguese consulate so you can apply for it online here yeah. or if you have portuguese um portuguese um office you can go and um apply to their consulate upon prior appointment so that is how you would do it so guys i don't know if you have benefited from this video but i'm sure you gain one or two make sure you have your travel insurance accommodation proof of accommodation and all of that stuff ready before you can go for the job interview or rather before you can go for 
to apply for your visa because you will need to upload those documents for your application uh, if you have any questions let me know if you need a part two of this video also let me know i'll do a part two of it to show you how you do your insurance and all that let me know if you're interested so i don't uh, make videos that you're not interested in bye for now guys